Hi, and it's second video of our navigation course from the room fleet. Today uh, I will talk about watchkeeping. In this section later on we will talk also about rather ARPA, GMDSS, wheelhouse, poster, EGDs, underkill clearance, some call rep tricks, uh, how to find true wins, humidity, procedure manual board, uh, some information about weather chart as well. So now watch keeping. It will be units, general units, how to keep the watch underway, what is anchor watch and watch in port. Everybody should understand that on board normally one of the officers assigned as a radio officer, GMDSS officer. So what does it mean? Actually, uh, he's responsible for the testing of the equipment, uh, but it doesn't mean that other officer who keeping the watch, for example, second chief mate, uh, he is not responsible, he is not touching any GMDSS equipment, how it's quite often happening. So if you got any message from any GMDSS equipment uh, during your watch, it's your responsibility to check out this one and if necessary give the information to the captain if it's about some exercise of the some warships or whatever it's necessary just to report to the captain that for example we need to alter the course or somebody in distress don't wait for GMDSS officer that he will be the one who is check all messages what come on your watch this is part of job of everybody on the bridge so <coughs> all the time watch keeping include GMDSS watch so Bridge watch, it's also GMDSS watch. Uh, of course, the next point is to maintain proper lookout, including all available means. Uh, I mean, radar, AS, and so on. Mm, but of course, the main thing is lookout, as you know, you can find this one in the call rack. Uh, if you maintain the watch, if you maintain the watch uh, on the bridge, you of course should be familiar fully with all equipment already. You should know perfectly that one. And uh, if you have some questions, it should be asked before your first watch, your first navigational watch. Next, it's navigation and controlling, fully compliant with the call rack. I believe here no many questions. And uh, of course, proper handover and takeover from your reliever and to the officer to whom you leave the watch. It's also quite important to give full information about situation, how it's going and of course it's your responsibility to be sure that you hand over the watch to adequate person, yeah, that he is not drunk, he is not under influence of any drugs, alcohol, etc. And generally monitoring shipboard operation. If you, for example, keep in breach watch, uh, it doesn't matter that you limit it only on the bridge responsibility. Let's say the captain taking rest for the moment, chief mate taking rest and something happening on the deck like uh, welding operation or for some reason isolation valve of the fire line closed. You should be, uh, you should know about all of these things. Uh, you should remember about that one if necessary to assist, necessary to give order if you're not sure. Uh, call your superior and so on so on so you know when you're on the watch on the beach you're responsible fully for the vessel for everything what's going on next one uh, watch under ray yep as i said already proper lookout complying with the call rig following standing and night orders mm, quite often you just have no time yet you think that you have no time during joining the vessel uh, a lot of things necessary to pick up to learn something maybe some new equipment maybe your first time on such type of vessel so people somehow uh, forget about standing orders of the company captain night standing orders and so on 
they not reading that one and especially they not signing that they read and know what is over there. Even port state control can check the papers of the standing order and if you will not find your signature with the date when you actually did this one, it could be it could be a problem. Uh, next one, monitoring position of the vessel. Of course, uh, as you know, it depends on the situation, from uh, location of the vessel, how far you from the nearest danger, let's say. Yeah. Generally, let's say if it's pilotage, if it's coastal waters or already pilotage, the best way is to maintain ship position each six minutes and actually uh, such information you can pick up from the safety management system of the company 99% that you will find this one in the management system uh, but as I said uh, the most common thing it's like two times more often than your vessel situated from the nearest danger yeah? for example to the nearest danger 12 minutes that means you need to maintain position each six minutes. Uh, monitoring techniques, uh, it's about again equipment, if something wrong, if something happened, uh, some alarm that you really don't know what to do with that one, it's necessary to inform first of all captain. Any failure or breach equipment, uh, your action is to inform captain about that one and he already will make decision is it possible uh, to continue with such problem working and or it's necessary some immediate actions and so on uh, and general responsibility for whole vessel as you said any operations anything what is going on on the ship it's on your shoulders during your watch next one it's anchor watch of course monitoring ship position again yeah nothing new security watch don't forget about security lights doesn't matter which port are you staying at anchor, lying at anchor for the moment. Uh, is it United States or it's Africa, doesn't matter. Security watchman, he's also maintained the safety watch, uh, security lights and so on. Ensure that the vessel is not dragging the anchor and arranging safety circles with the edges. For the moment it's quite simple, you just click, you just choose how many shackles you have. Let's say vessel looking strictly to the north and uh, we have length about one cable, length of the vessel uh, and we have position from our GPS. Uh, for what we need gyro course, for what we need the length of the vessel, for the safety circle and GPS position. As you understand, uh, GPS showing position, approximate position of the antenna, yeah, with some uh, options it's possible to adjust that one to to make it strictly from the bridge generally we, we will talk about some let's say bulk carrier with the superstructure at the aft and we need to find location where we drop the anchor from our forward so if the vessel looking to the north uh, we have length of the vessel approximate one cable and we have position of our bridge so uh, on the chart if it's paper chart we making position after that one, we using our course and the length of the vessel to find where our forward location from. So from the position of the GPS, we are making the line length of our vessel, and in this location over here, our forward, we can say that we drop the anchor. So I will make a new one symbol. Let's say it's anchor. Uh, in this position we drop the anchor. What we do next, how we arrange in the circle. Uh, we are taking again our length of the, of the vessel and uh, checking out how many shackles we drop in the water. For example, it's five shackles. Uh, each shackle, as you know, normally it's 27.5.8 meters. Uh, and we plus to all of these lengths of the vessel. So five shackles plus length of the vessel and we got the distance, the radius uh, of our safety circle. It will be like that. One more thing, some of captains, uh, they like to make inner safety circle as well. Uh, how to find that one? It will be just only the length of your, 
uh, anchor chain, only 5 shackles. For what we are doing this circle, inner one. Uh, so let's say in some circumstances, if the vessel will stay uh, at anchor here, yeah, uh, we expect normally that it will stay in such way, right? But if we will have no inner circle and the vessel for some circumstances will swing in such way, and the anchor chain will come over here, yeah, we see that the length of the chain is by our measurement should be longer than five shackle yeah what does it mean we drag the anchor for some reason for some uh, circumstances maybe swell wave bad weather anyway weather condition yeah and the vessel swinged and already dragged the anchor so actually this situation when we need to call uh, captain for him and already follow his orders that's why some of captains like to arrange these two circles, uh, inner and outer. In the port, in the port uh, you have a cargo watch, ballast operation, it depends on the camp company, depends on the chief mate, if he trusts you enough, he has to give you some ballast, safety and security rounds as well, and gunnery watch of course. So all of these points actually you as a uh, watch officer, you are responsible for that one. Don't think, for example, that if chief mate sitting in the ship's office and busy with the ballast, uh, all other things is also on his shoulders. He is not on the watch for that moment. And uh, let's make such example. If it comes strong wind and you see that line smoothing scheme is not, not really enough for the moment to hold the vessel properly, yeah? and uh, you have doubts you come into the chief officer who is already two three days not sleeping for example and you report to him situation and he's saying to you that it's okay doesn't care doesn't matter maybe he is not really adequate already after three days of non sleeping yeah and you think you you already report chief mate said no problem everything okay and you come back on deck and already don't care about your lines here yeah, because you report and got answer that everything all right don't worry it's wrong position because you as watch officer you are responsible for the moment for whole vessel again and if you have such doubts it's necessary to call master even prepare the engine better in advance and uh, you should understand that when you on the watch again you are the one who is responsible for the vessel so don't think even if chief mate not sleeping, he's sitting in the office, he will decide or do something. Uh, yeah, he can. He can for sure, he should, but you is on the watch at this moment. So you should make the final decisions. Just try to remember that one. And of course, maintain, uh, check gunway watchman from time to time. Yeah, give him orders, check how he filling up the book. Uh, I mean, uh, entries about visitors and so on. So just don't forget about that one. And I think for for this video it's already more than enough. Uh, next time we will talk about radar, ARPA and other topics. Um, I believe uh, you like this video. If you did, please share with your friends and see you next time.